Now, guys, do you remember what Allison got me for Christmas? What the f Oh my god! What is this? Oh, this is not real. That's right, the little pop of me for when I do my interviews, my little like, costume with the socks and sandals. Well, guys, well, it looks like we gotta do another edition of uh, public exposure interviews. I think I'm interviewing the uh, voice of Pooh Bear today. Still don't really have a game plan, but uh, what could go wrong, right? All right? Are you prepared for this? No. Are you ready? No. MegaCon time! So that means we're back in Orlando to uh, see all the badness and all the craziness. What's a good tip on being a macho man? You gotta bring the intensity in everything you do, even when you come to MegaCon Orlando 2019, uh-huh, ooh, yeah! I'll just start to bring it up like this about every interview, my fans need to pop out. I gotta do the fingers, that's what I gotta do. I gotta spin around I gotta do the little boogie, the hokey pokey, yeah! Ursula, Ursula, Ursula. It's a very different year for us at MegaCon. What is going on? I need all the to turn into pull-ups. The, the problem about these MegaCons is you can't tell if somebody is dressed up or if they're just having a rough day. Like I went up this guy and I, I thought he was Hurley from Lost. Can I have some good lottery numbers? I don't have lottery numbers. Okay. I don't even play the lotto. Uh, Alright, so next year are you gonna cosplay? How do you know I'm not cosplaying now? Stopped at Walmart on the way up. Subtle plug, ten dollar t-shirt here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, Edna Mode nice, right? would be. There's no capes. Nice. You're good. No capes. Capes kill you, darling. No capes. No capes. No tails. It's just me. They, you think this is the one? And then they puff up. And see how they kick. So you can just look at them. I tried to steal someone's wheelchair earlier. That's not even a joke at this point. Like, I'm not in character. I tried to steal someone's wheelchair. Yeah. It was great. You, she wasn't going to get it back. I'm not going to take your uh, voice. I'm just going to take your wheelchair. Basically, it was like an exchange for legs. I Grinch. It's what? Saturday. It's getting a little smelly in here. Oh, is it you? It smells fabulous, I tell you. It does? It may be me, but uh, I've seen some other people that uh, could look a little smelly too. All right, so Stinky Pete, we have a question. Yes. Why does it smell so bad? It's not that bad. That bad? Yeah, you get stuck in a box on a shelf for 30 years. Think about that. Never being, it's a sad never old being toy. dusted, all that, all of that candy that's gone to waste. All those people walking by year after year after year. Think about all of that old candy that's been stuck there. Think about, think about all of that food that's just been there wasting away on there. Year after year after year, getting stuck on a shelf. Have you watched Game of Thrones at all this season? Yes. Oh. All right, in one word, describe the final season. Amazing. Ravens. Coffee. Question mark. I was right. Fabulous. No okay. Oh, gym socks. A lot of nice, nice women, nice friends. That works. Yeah. Uh, crap. <laughs> Garbage. Trash. All of my favorite things, actually. Are you going to be taking any anger management classes anytime soon? I think I should. Sure. You're a little hot-headed right now? A little yeah, bit. just a little bit. The characters that are still alive cost more. Everybody else has died is on a discount. What does Giant's milk taste like? Like normal milk, but a little bit more fatty. Okay. And it goes down a whole lot smoother. So there's no chunks in it? Well, there's some chunks, but it makes, it makes the experience nice and fun. <laughs> Jim, it is an honor. Uh, you know, we've heard your voice for our entire lives. My nickname at Disney is Lil Churro. How do you think that would sound as a voice? I don't know. I can't do it. It would probably get me into trouble. I don't know. It sounds like a, a Mexican dessert, which I love. Yeah, how'd you end up here at MegaCon? The pipe is called I-4. So what does Mario and Luigi like to drink? Right now, tequila. Uh, Jose and Cuervo. Okay. That's my guy. That's normally, but a go-to. Crown Royal. The real question is a porta potty. How do you navigate inside of a porta potty with a giant hook? Lots of watching out for the ferns. You don't want to get any of that stuff on your ferns. Has there been a voice that you haven't used yet? Something that you're hiding away for the world to hear one? Nah, nah, I try the best every time. Whatever I've got, I use it all up. It's always a super bowl. Impression of DCP Kermit. Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. He's pretty well worn, Kermit. Yeah, he's, he's been around, hasn't he? Is there singing DCP Kermit a song? Make sure Kermit 
play some games. He's good at games, you know. Just don't ever let Kermit play cornhole. <laughs> You fall in the cornhole. Where did Kermit go? He fell in the cornhole. He's got a few miles he, on him. He's done a lot of frog giggling. He actually started the church of uh, Kermit. What? Muppet Church. Is a Muppet Church? What do they worship him? Is he an idol? Yeah. So it's but, like yeah. Scientology, but for puppets. Yeah. And, and instead of saying amen, they say amen. <laughs> Lovable muscles. Here's a treat. Ah! Get out of here! Ah! Illuminations is going away. You're the voice of Illuminations. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, we're, we're kind of upset because you've guided us into that experience. I know. Lives. I don't have mixed emotions. I'm just sad. No, but I, it's an honor. It's an honor for, for this time. You know, since uh, I guess 1999, every single night. It's a lot of tortures. So it's a lot of campfires. It's a lot of coming togethers. I hope the world will still continue to do it without me. Wonder what happened to him after the great movie ride. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We heard rumors of how you were gonna take out Thanos. Yes. What happened? I, I, we heard you were gonna to do a sneak attack through the back door. I thought about it, but there was just too much to deal with. When I really pondered it, I thought, okay, we could get this over with and save a lot of lives. But then I'm like, I don't think I could handle the smell. But the call of duty for you, you know, save the world. What about the front way, urethra? Trust me, I've been there by mistake before. <laughs> oh God. Have you seen Fat Thor yet? I have. I he, he's definitely got a good look. Boompa going on. Uh, yeah. Okay, Thor, how many beers have you drunken today? There's not a number to the amount of beers that you can have in one day. I don't count them. Watch out for Thor, okay? <laughs> He'll be headed your way. But you saw Endgame. I heard someone dies. I've never seen Endgame. So, the, basically the arsenal I have in my memory okay. of, of, of that whole Marvel Universe is Howard the Duck. That's how far back we're going. I just don't have time to watch new movies. We have uh, Dom's anthem right here. Sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come. When you are creating a character, like let's say a certain, you know, Disney pitches a character to you, what's the inspiration behind the voice? Well, it depends how much. No, it, everything's tailored. Ray from Princess and the Frog was a Cajun, and I, I was a deckhand on the river bounce out of New Orleans, and so I, you know, you just, it's your experience, you go out there, you got, you got to pass a good time here. You're ready to hear one of the greatest songs ever created for a <laughs> video game franchise. what that is, you obviously have, don't own any Sony products. She's currently live streaming with her, with her phone. Shooting it around. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait, I'm right, Go, go run, you got this. I'm just wondering how I'm supposed to wear a tennis ball. Look, I started wearing glasses because other than that, I'm f***ing blind. <laughs> People will be like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, great, come closer. So-and-so. So, so growing up, how did you think your life was going to go to how it is now? What was I the knew vision? we'd be having this conversation. That's how tightly I've planned on this. You're going to be like, you're going to be talking to an idiot with an orange shirt with socks and sandals and on. Look. Let's just take a second to appreciate his shirt today. Can't hear you over your shirt. <laughs> How's my fashion today? Do I have good fashion? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oh, guys, we have finally made it home. And that proved of my uh, outfit, that's all that matters. I think one of my favorite parts was when we were checking in and uh, Darth Vader was getting his lightsaber checked in by security. But for some reason, there was just so many people at MegaCon this year. Keep going, keep going. It just keeps going and going. <laughs> It's not even the busiest day yet. And these lines are a couple hours long to get an autograph. Now, we're gonna end the video with one of the strangest experiences I've ever had in my entire life. I've experienced many things while going to the bathroom. I have never experienced death. Standing there in the corner while I'm trying to take a leak. You have enough dumb 
footage on me now. <laughs>